was, without question, the ugliest dinner I've ever sat through. What did you say? Now, what, what can you mean? Was the ragu not to your pleasure? Did the floating island sink? Watch what you say, for your father is proud of his wines. No, you, sitting there like a combination punk, but we will not discuss it. Claire, be still. No, Tobias, the table is not the proper place. Julia, nanny, like a nanny. When we are dealing with children. I must discover sometime who you think you are. You will learn one day. Uh, no, more like a drill sergeant. You will do this, you will not do that. So keep in shape. Have you heard the expression? Most people misunderstand it. Assume it means alteration, when it does not. Maintenance. When we keep something in shape, we maintain its shape. Whether we are proud of that shape or not is another matter. We keep it from falling apart. We do not attempt the impossible. We maintain, we hold. I shall keep this family in shape. I shall maintain it, hold it. Yes, sir. And if I shout, it is merely to be heard above the awful din of your privacies and faults, all of you. I'm not being a, an ogre, am I? No. No, very reasonable. If I must declare on certain points, a martinet, as Julia would have it, <laughs> would you not, sweet? In fact, oh. if I must declare on points of manners, timing, tact, the graces almost blush to call them. It is simply that I'm the one member of this reasonably happy family, blessed and burdened, with the ability to view a situation objectively while I am in it. What time is it? And if I must be the fulcrum, I think I shall have a divorce. At what? At what? No fear. Merely testing. Everything is taken for granted, and no one listens. Have a divorce? No, no. Julia has them for all of us. Not even separation. That is taken care of, and in life, the gradual demise of intensity private preoccupations, the substitutions. They become allegorical, my darling Tobias, as we grow older. The individuality we hold so dearly sinks into crotchet. We see ourselves repeated by those we bring into it all, either by mirror or rejection, honor or fault. I'm not a fool. <laughs> I'm really not. What's Claire up to? Really, not at all. No, really not. Well, how would I know what she's up to? Well, you are the fulcrum and all around here, the double vision, the great balancing act. I dare say she's in her room. At least she has one. Why don't you run upstairs and claim your goddamn room back? Barricade yourself in there. Push your bureau in front of the door. Take Tobias's pistol while you're at it. Arm yourself. Barricades? Pistols? Really? So soon? Claire, will you take off that damn thing? They laughed when I sat down to the accordion. Take it off? No, we'll not. This is going to be a festive night, by the smell of it. And Sister Claire wants to do her part. Pay her way, so to speak. Justify. You're not going to play that dreadful instrument in here. Tobias, do something about Ma used to say, Claire girl. <laughs> she had an uncle named Claire, so she always used to call me Claire girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is not so. Claire girl, she used to say, when you go out into the world, get dumped out of the nest or pushed out by your sister. Lies. Even in her teens, your Auntie Claire had her own and very special ways. It was very advanced. At a ball, same as you. You know, your mummy got a few dentists a couple of times herself. Before she met old Toby there, you know? Only I wasn't fused with socially proper remorse every time. Your what? My pudenda. You can come on all forgetful in your old age if you want to, but just remember. I'm not an old woman. 
am I? <laughs> well, you're my old lady. What'll it be? Save it for Harry and Edna. Save it for Harry and Edna? Save it for them? Please. Unload. We're waiting, aren't we? Huh? Waiting. The room, the doctor's office, the beautiful unconcern, the intensive study of the dreadful curtains, the absorption and field and stream. Waiting for the biopsy. No? Don't know what I mean? What about Harry and Edna? I don't want to talk about it. If they come back. If? If they come back, we will. You only have two choices, sis. Take them in or throw them out. How simple it is from the sidelines. We'll do neither, I imagine. Take in, throw out. Oh? Well, yes, they're just passing through. <laughs> As they have been all these years. Well, we shall know soon enough. They're back. Yeah? I think I'll go up. You'll stay right I here. I want to go to my room. It is their room for the moment. Among Doug's opinions, you might like to know, is that when you and your ilk are blown to pieces by a Chinese bomb, the world will be a better place. Isn't ilk a lovely word? Oh, come on now. Well, it'll be a less crowded one. You choose well, Julia. That's what he says. Have always. Did he include you as ill as well? Will you be with us when the fatal mushroom comes, as those dirty boys put it? Are we to have the pleasure? I'll be right here. Agnes. Would you like to know something else he says? No, Julia. Daddy? Now, right this minute, Julia. Claire, you. Oh, come on, you know I'd like to hear about it. I'd love to, but Toby and I have got an invasion on their hands. We have no such thing. And maybe you'd better wait for uh, Harry and I, Edna, too. It does not concern Harry and Edna. Best friends. Tobias. Uh, where, what will I do with everything? Oh, well, every... for God's sake, I'll do it. Uh -huh. What? What do they want, Harry and Edna? <laughs> 